Hey guys, this is Gaijin Hunter. Are you looking forward to Monster Hunter Generations? It comes out on July 15th, and for day one people, I've got a set for you that you're going to want to make. Early in the game, you're going to be battling for weapons that are like 80 attack, 90 attack, and eventually 100 attack. So you can imagine that the attack up skill, which gives you plus 20 attack, is very big for early in the game. It's comprised of bulldrome and jaggy parts, thus the name Buja Buja Bu, which I've named it. Uh, just lets you know which kind of parts that it uses. These parts are incredibly easy to make, and thanks to the fact that you can do the online level 1 quest straight out of the gate, means that you can go and hunt a bull drum right away, which means you can make the set. Um, I am using Attack of Jewels in four of these parts, which we'll cover uh, how to make those and what to do there. First, let's go take a look at the materials needed in order to make this set. Now, one of the key elements is that if you use all Blade Master parts, you'll get 16, uh, not 16, 15 points of attack, which is attack of medium. But because we only have four slots, we want to use the cap, not the helm. It has less defense, but you get three attack points instead of two. So it's okay to take the dip in defense. Go ahead and make the cap, not the helm. You'll earn the tusk and the pelts just by killing the bullfango just a few times. The iron ores you can get pretty much anywhere in the early game as long as you're mining the rocks. Second piece here is the Jaggy Mail, just takes Jaggy Hind, Bird Wyvern Fangs. Shiny Beetles are a little special, so I will show you in a second how to get those. Third part here is again a Bull Drum part, that's why it's called Buja Buja Boo. This is the Braces, just takes some Hides, a Tusk, and again some Iron Ores. Looking at the Waste now, which is the Jaggy Folds, we have the Hides, Scale, Monster Bone S, and Disc Stones. I will cover Disc Stones in a second as well. Um, just so you guys know, the Great Jaggy's not in this game, so they're just talking about the regular little Jaggies, those little um, purple monsters that try to bite you. And finally, we have the Bulldrum Grooves, which are not that hard to make either. So, the Shiny Beetles, if you remember, were kind of special, so I do recommend that you switch into Prowler Mode, because you don't need to carry any items with you. Go over to the online Hunter's Gathering area, and on level 1, there's a Harvest Tour for the Dunes. This is not unlocked in the village, but you can go to the online place and get it straight out of the gate. This is also where you find the Bulldrum of the Peaks, which is the quest that you want to do for hunting the Bulldrum. I know it's online, but even if you're solo, it's not that bad. Go ahead and accept the dunes. The reason why I prefer using Prowler is because you don't have any stamina, so you can just run around. You don't need any items in order to gather. You don't need bug nets. You don't need anything. Um, it's just great. So in this first area here, that, there's always going to be at least one butterfly. It's either on the right side or the left. This is the main uh, middle area of the dunes. You want to go to the upper left, which is kind of a cave. Inside there's going to be another butterfly, which is an insect area that you can mine. Of course, all these spots don't give um, the shiny beetles, so I'm just showing you the ones that I know that do. So there's that. And then finally, in the big area, when you're heading back towards the exit to clear the quest, there's a butterfly over here, which you can mine, and as you see, you can get shiny beetles. Shiny beetles come in handy quite a bit in the early game, so I do recommend you grabbing as many as you can. Okay, so now that we have shiny beetles in hand, let's go and cover how to get those disc stones, and also the materials for the decorations. Okay, to make the attack decoration, which we're going to need for you need an aqua glow jewel, regular jaggy scales, mite seed, and also, if you remember, we needed for the armor pieces, uh, disc stones. So luckily we can get all these in the same place. Online, go to the harvest tour for the verdant hills. Okay, now we're in the verdant hills, leave the camp area, and this is area one. This is where we can find mite seeds. Now there may be one or two different seed things, you can see them on the ground there, the little red and white. Um, but this one is always going to be here and always gives mite seeds, which is right under the hill. So go ahead and gather those. A cool thing about Monster Hunter Generations is if you hold the A button, you'll continue to gather without having to have the animation of your character standing up. This works for both the Prowler and the Hunter, so awesome change by Capcom. While you're here, some people may not know about it, but over on this back end, there's a pile of dung. Now you may not think to gather from it because you think that all you get is dung, but continue gathering from it and you'll notice that you can get <gasps> Kukuku Scales. So this is a cool way to get some young Kukuku parts early in the game. Head over to area 6 and then on this right hand corner you can climb up the hill. Again this is another reason why Prowler is so good is that we don't have to worry about stamina as we're doing gathering. So I just switch to Prowler anytime I'm going and doing harvest tours. 
Go ahead and make the jump here, Indiana Jones style, and you'll see a blue rock. Now for those of you who are new to the game, um, blue rocks and gray rocks, the blue ones represent a rare version, meaning that you can get better items from it. They're not always there, sometimes they're regular, sometimes they're rare, uh, but if you see a blue one, definitely mine it. Okay, and in this area 5, you notice we just got round stones, you can also get the aqua glow from those as well. This area as well has 2 to 3 stones that you can mine. In this area, you can get the aqua glow um, jewels. You can also get the macolite that you need. And you can also get the, the round disc stones that you need as well. So all of it covered in just one map in just a few areas, you can now make this set. Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoy Monster Hunter Generations. The game is fabulous. So if you need an early set to go for, I definitely recommend this one. Till next time, happy hunting.